Hello everyone, this is Rachel live from Calkine Studios in Sydney and you're watching The Early Trades. The S&P ASX 200 gained 1% in the opening minutes of trade this morning and that mirrors a strong rally for US shares after Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell signalled a 25 basis point interest rate hike this month. Energy shares led the action, climbing more than 3.5%, following on from a jump in Wednesday trading with oil prices sitting at eight-year highs. Whitehaven Coal shares led among the blue chips with a 7.8% advance as energy commodity prices across the board rallied on supply worries given the conflict in Ukraine and sanctions facing Russia. U.S. stocks closed 1.9% higher in a rally that accelerated after comments from Powell. Let's take a look at some of the newsmakers from today. Ardent Leisure's main event entertainment business has acquired three existing family entertainment centers in Colorado, operating as The Summit for around 26 million US dollars. The three centers in the Denver and Colorado Springs markets in the US provide main event with an immediate penetration into one of the company's target trade areas, along with the company's existing center located in the Denver market. The combined unaudited LTM revenue for the three centers as of December last year was around 24 million US dollars. A normalized pro forma four wall EBITDA margin is expected to be around 25%. Moving on to other news, an MSCI has announced it will reclassify Russia indices from emerging markets to standalone market status. Now, this change will be implemented across all MSCI indices as of the close of the 9th of March. The changes came after international institutional investors told MSCI in a consultation that the Russian equity market was currently uninvestable and therefore Russian securities should be removed from the MSCI Emerging Markets Indexes. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell insisted the US Central Bank will lift interest rates in a fortnight and that fallout from sanctions to Russia's economy would not be as severe to the US economy. His words did push bond yields higher. While battles are raging in Ukraine, Powell is keeping a cool head on the need to stamp out a 40-year high in inflation in the US and a return to near 0% interest rates to a more appropriate level. And the Australian dollar has edged above 73 US cents overnight as currency markets reflected the rally across commodity prices which have been driven by the war in Ukraine. Now, the jump came because sanctions against Russia are supporting Australian commodity prices, according to CBA analysts. The Australian dollar could well drop to below 70 US cents if there was a further downgrade to global economic growth. And Woodside has reaffirmed its commitment to net zero by 2050 as it positions itself for a global energy transition and moves to counter criticism just a few months ahead of a critical shareholder vote. Woodside last month said it would reach net zero emissions by 2050 and would spend $5 billion on clean energy projects, a plan it reiterated yesterday when it released its 2021 climate plan to shareholders. The release to the stock exchange was part of Woodside's engagement with shareholders and stakeholders, according to a spokeswoman from the company. Well, that's all for now for the early trades. Stay tuned to Calkine TV. We've got many more shows lined up for you with live updates across the economy, markets and sectors. This is Rachel signing off for now.